While I work on a Samsung Galaxy S4 review, I wanted to share some highlights from yesterday's Radio City Music Hall keynote, Reconfigured. The President and Head of IT and Mobile Communication Division, Samsung Electronics, Mr. J.K. Shin. These ideas have been conceived from our observation of real life. The new phone looks and feels awesome. That's because it's slimmer yet stronger. There's less to hold and more to see. 441 PPI, beautifully unreal polycarbonate material. This is all part of the new user experience upgrade and a new visual effects engine. The main camera on the back is 13 megapixel and the front facing is two. Shoot video with both at the same time. He can capture the scene he's looking at while also inserting himself in it. Check out my pics. Now you can be chatting with someone and turn it into a video call with you on the front facing camera and your friends on the background on the back facing camera. You have two options for adding sound to your pictures before pressing the shutter or after. With our drama shot feature, the Galaxy S4 can take more than 100 shots in four seconds and then select some to be shown in the finished picture <laughs> as a collage on one frame with one click. You speed up the shutter and take multiple pictures. Then the Galaxy S4 creates a composite, erasing people or unnecessary objects, so you get a nice, clean shot. <laughs> when you take photos in the same environment or on the same date, you get a message on your status bar saying you can create a story album. Check out my pics. <laughs> the S Translator is a powerful app that understands nine languages, text to speech, and speech to text. But with the Optical Reader app, the Galaxy S4 can even translate written words. Freaky. The screen automatically adjusts brightness, saturation, and contrast depending on what's being viewed. S Voice Drive was developed for user safety while driving. While you're driving, the voice recognition feature makes it possible for the Galaxy S4 to pretty much do everything for you including respond to a message. It even works when I'm wearing gloves. Knox separates your phone into a personal space and a workspace. Group play can turn any group into one large sound system, even a five channel surround system. Even if you only have two phones, you can still set up a great sounding two channel system. Plus, you can adjust the volume of each device. And you can start up the music again right from where the group play leader stopped. And one of the coolest things is that now group play supports multiplayer games. It allows you to navigate the phone without actually touching it. Why would you need that? My nails are wet. Sticky fingers. Sunscreen. I really don't want to put down this drink. Freaky. You can answer a call with just a wave of your hand. This allows the Galaxy S4 to detect whether or not you're looking at the phone. <laughs> Automatically pause the video so that you don't lose track. And when she looks back at the S4, would it start again? Yep. All you have to do is tilt the S4 slightly to scroll up or down. Infrared gesture and temperature and humidity. It's a lot of sensors. The Galaxy S4's numerous sensors track the amount of exercise you get and can calcu calculate your calorie consumption. And with accessories like S-Band, Body Scale, and Heart Rate Monitor, S-Health gathers information about sleep patterns, heart rate, exercise, and weight. My pouch, or Tiff's flip cover, or Jenny's protective case, mm. or Didi's awesome S-View cover. The S-View cover is designed to protect the Galaxy S4 and give you quick and easy access to information and enable users to answer the phone without opening the cover. This is set to go out as a 4G LTE device and it supports Wi-Fi, A, B, G, N, and AC, Bluetooth 4.0. Users can control their TVs, two gigs of LPDDR3 RAM, 16 gigs, gigabytes of storage built in, a micro SD slot that will give you space for up to 64 gigs more. 2,600 milliamp hour battery. And it's removable. Check out my pics. <laughs> Freaky. On that note, I just wanted to thank you all for the tons of feedback in the last video. I will use each and every comment to build a roadmap of future episodes. And here's a shout out to a few of the people who I missed or have subscribed since then. Thanks again.